Okay, picking up right where we left off last time. I'm going to hit game mode here, so we're in game mode. I can hit right and left. I can hit space bar to make our little guy jump here. So, I want to go a little bit more into just getting around in the editor. This is probably one of the things that I probably should have done in like the first tutorial, but I, I wanted to get into more exciting stuff uh, before that, and we didn't really need to go over just a few basic things. If you center click, you can move uh, your view around here. That's not the view in the game because if we move over here and I hit game mode, you can see it jumps right back to there. Hit escape to get at game mode and you can see we're back here. Because now if you hit plus or minus on your keyboard, doesn't matter whether it's the plus and minus, minus on the top row or your number pad, you hit minus, you back out on your view. If you hit plus, you move in. Now you'll notice you have a grid going, but you'll notice that right here, the square that is a darker, thicker white, I guess it's not darker, it's a thicker white, um, that is your view. Uh, if you're familiar, once again, I just keep referring back to it because a lot of my viewers are familiar with Blender, it's your camera. And your camera is what you see in the game. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to move the camera around stuff. But basically, I want to show you center click. You can drag around like so. Uh, and plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to right click and go to uh, actor control. I have my player selected here. I'm actually going to click on that and choose view. Now we're editing our camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a parent. And once again, if you're familiar with, with gaming or Blender, a parent is basically our object right now, which is our view, our camera, the parent is what it's going to follow. So I'm just going to choose parent here. I'm going to choose ground, or not ground, player. Now if I go into game mode, you can see as I move my character around, the camera follows. I'll show you a little bit more. We will undo that. We'll say none. Now if I go into game mode, you can see the camera's not moving. So obviously you'd want the camera to move if you were going to move your character off the side of the screen, which uh, the style of game we're creating, that's going to happen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to now choose uh, our ground uh, actor. So our ground is selected, which is just this dirt and this little candle right here. And I'm going to hit clone single. And you can see now I've got a second ground. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to center click to drag over and I was going to hit clone single again and I'm going to move that up here and I will clone single again and move that down here. Now our character has some place to go. So if I hit game mode, move left and right, you see though uh, we have uh, the camera parent turned off so he goes off the side of the screen. We don't know where he is. We don't know what's going on. So let's go back in. We're going to once again choose view so our camera, which is view, and we're going to say parent is player. That's all you have to do, and it will follow the player. Game mode, and you can see him following him like so. And we can jump. Oh, I fell through. Okay, let's hit game mode. I'll jump a little bit better. I'll do a double jump. Woo! Oop. And then jump down, and then into infinity. Hit escape to end that, and that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you're enjoying these. I hope you're creating, or at least coming up with ideas for fun 2D games. It's been a long time since I've done any uh, 2D creation. Uh, I mean, a little bit, a couple month or two ago, I did some Python stuff, but that is, uh, you know, great. I love Python, but for rapid development, that's easy for users, especially those who may not want to be typing out a bunch of code. This program game-editor.com. Great open source tool. Check it out. Have a great day and also visit my site for more video tutorials, filmsbychris.com. Have a great day.